everyone so today is friday 8th march and it is currently 4 36 pm and this is my to-do list for today so i'm already done with a few of the tasks which you must have already seen in yesterday's video so right now i will continue with the chapter quadratic equation so let's place a timer of two hours now so this timer will end at 6 36 pm so yeah let's start practicing the questions of the ncrt I obviously did not practice every single question of the NCRT but I tried my best to solve as many word problems as possible because all of them were actually kind of different from each other so I wanted to at least go through all of them once before the exams so I tried my best to solve as many as possible. Once I got done with the chapter quadratic equations I started practicing the questions of heights and distances and from heights and distances also I tried my best to solve as many word problems as possible. I think I hardly left three or four questions otherwise I did most of the questions of the NCRT and yes I'm also focusing on the examples because sometimes examples have better questions than the exercises. So this video is of 8th March. So let me also give you an update regarding what I'm doing on 9th March. So I'm doing the formulas and chapter reading obviously along with the PYQs, MCQs and other than that I'm doing triangles, AP, areas related to circles, statistics and also the mistakes which I did on the last sample question paper with coordinate geometry. So that's what I'm doing on 9th March. On 10th March, I'd be left with surface area, probability and linear equations into variables. So probability and linear equations are easy chapters. Surface area will take a lot of time. So that's my plan. And also I'll be doing sample question papers and PYQs for sure. 6.37 p.m. Now I'm done with the chapter heights and distances and quadratic equations. So I'm currently doing the chapter circles. I'm left with a few more questions. And in the next 30 session, we'll start off with the PYQs and MCQs as well. So I'll try my best to get done with everything as soon as possible. So yeah, I'll see you after a while. Currently 7.07 p.m. Now I'll place a timer of 1 hour 30 minutes. So this timer will end at 8.37 p.m. So yeah, let's get started with our quadratic and equations. Also, we just have one day for IT. Like, I did not study IT throughout the year. I only used to study it two days before the exams. But I still used to manage get like I still used to manage to get pretty decent scores in the examination. But I don't know about the boards, right? I don't know about what kind of questions they might ask there. So I'm kind of nervous about IT. Honestly, I'm more nervous about IT than maths right now. We should at least get two days to prepare for a subject which we did not study at all. And even in like my practical video, a lot of you guys commented that even you study IT one day before the exam. So I don't know why IT is such a neglected subject. But right now, I have zero idea about how I'm going to prepare for it in just one day. By the way, here I was watching the MCQ session of Rithik sir. It was uploaded on 7th March and it had 50 MCQs. So I could not solve all of them, but I managed to do, I think, around 25 to 26 MCQs. Also, yesterday, I think both Shobhit Bhaiya and Rithik sir did live sessions till like 2 a.m. And that was so inspiring, like... They are continuously doing maths for these hours by just taking 15 to 10 minutes break. And that's so incredible. So like for all of us, it's a motivation, right? That if they are working so hard on us, then it's also our responsibility that we will work hard so that their hard work pays off. Currently 8.37 and I'm done with the you know, MCQs and the chapter circles. Right now I'll take a break and then I'll start off with the PYQs. So I have seen the channel of Mansi Ma'am and she has uploaded the PYQs of three chapters which are triangles, poly sorry, trigonometry, polynomials and quadratic equations as of now. And uh, the lecture of Rithik sir is currently going on. So I will do the PYQs of three chapters which I have already mentioned, which I have just mentioned now from the channel of Mansi Ma'am. So yeah, I'll do that after that.
8 54 pm now i'll start off with the last study session for today so i'll place a timer of 2 hours 30 minutes so this timer we're in that 11 29 pm so yeah let's get started with our last study session so here I was doing the chapter circles. So I started off with the theorems first and then I did the examples and then the exercise questions. As we all know that the next exam is of mathematics and I am also very scared of it honestly and I'm not a very bright student in maths even though maths is my favorite subject and it doesn't matter how much I score it will still be my favorite subject no matter what the main problem is that i always panic in the examination hall and then my answers just go wrong but in the last few exams of english hindi maths and sorry sst and science i was quite confident and i was also very calm so i am really optimistic about this examination i just hope that it goes well also i started off with the chapter polynomials and then i did trigo so from trigo like you can observe that most of the questions are from the NCRT itself like they are just completely repeated and only the digits are changed sometimes so overall the question pattern was easy we never know how our question paper is going to be like so let's just hope for the best and the main thing is that we should not panic in the examination hall because if that happens then even if we know the answer we will just write the wrong one so I was watching this video at 2x speed and I was trying to solve everything simultaneously. So I think that the time management skills have improved but at the same time also, now was I will be preparing for 11th grade in the break of 1.5 to 2 months that we get. Also we will have our summer vacations in that period only. So in 11th grade we will not have any summer vacations. So I will have to prepare for 11th because a lot of people say that they study in 12th okay they go to their tuition center and even the students of class 9th are sitting there so the competition is real and i'll just try my best to start studying for 11th grade itself in the break otherwise i have some other plans also which will help me in 11th but the thing is that i will definitely study in the break that i get i cannot really afford to do something else you see the other students are either preparing for olympiads or for 11th grade in advance so you definitely have to do something in order to reach their level so i'll just try my best to do that Eleven thirty p.m. and I'm done with all my tasks for today. So yeah, that was it for today's video. I hope you liked this video. If you did, then do let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Also, please consider subscribing to our channel because we are very close to hit five k subscribers. So I'll see you in my next video. Bye.